Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft Horizons Mod Pack. Woohoo! Now, last time, I had just set up my uh, wand uh, recharge pedestal here with all of these nodes. Now, I did go back and look around in the, un the uh, deep dark, and I did find an Ignis node. I brought it back and plunked it down right here, and I was able to fully recharge my staff as well as my wand which is very nice. So I now have one of each of the main basic types of viz, so I can just leave my stuff here and it will fully recharge over time. Haha. -ha. But today, that is enough for that for today, but today what I wanted to do was to set up a uh, spawner mob farm thing so I can actually get a fair amount of experience. Because even though my uh, farm out there can be used to make bottles of enchanting and stuff like that. It just doesn't make enough of it, and I want another source of experience. So today I'm going to set up a mob farm. Now, I do have all of this cursed earth that I got from my uh, activation ritual for my division sigil. So I'm going to be using that, and I am also going to be uh, using a... where is it? Golem. Here we go. I'm going to be using a golem to automatically kill the mobs that spawn. Now, I did do a bit more research on uh, golem stuff. I unlocked a few more cores, such as guard, which is what you need in order to have a golem automatically attack various mobs and like that. So, I already have this, and if I put a order upgrade on it, I can actually specify which mobs it will attack and won't attack. I also got Butcher, which allows you to uh, have it attack uh, friendly mobs like pigs and cows and stuff like that. But what I'm going to be doing today is making one of these. Now, I did unlock Stone Golems, Iron Golems, and Thalmium Golems. Thalmium Golems are one of the stronger golems you can make. It's made from a block of Thalmium with Humanus, Motus, Spiritus, and like that. And I'm also going to be making a golem visor, which will allow this golem, whenever it kills a mob, to have the mob drop experience orbs, just like if a player was killing it. So I'm going to be making one of those, as well as an order upgrade, which is just some shards and a gold nugget. And I should have everything I need. I also uh, unlocked advanced golems, I don't think I'm going to be doing this this time because it's a bit complicated. It's not really complicated. It's just a, an infusion to give it a more upgrade slots and like that. But yeah, I'm a, I think I'm going to skip that for now. Hmm. The only real problem is if it only has two upgrade slots, does, that, does, does the visor count as an upgrade? Hmm. So, the visor and the core, does the core itself count as an upgrade? That is something I'm going to have to figure out. But first and foremost, let's go up and make this golem. Uh, oh, uh, let me uh, get rid of some of this flux. I was making some uh, thalmium earlier, and uh, kind of created a bit of flux here. Uh, oh, I need to go get some more water. Okay, for the golem... I need eight humanus, eight motus, and eight spiritus. So I need uh, hatches. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Eight humanus. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And eight. What was it? Spiritus, eight Spiritus. So, two of these. Bop, bop. So, let's toss this in there. And uh, the block of Thaumium. Bop, bop. Bop, 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 bop. Eight of these. And the one Thaumium block. There we go. Haha. 
So I've got my little golem now, so now I just need to make the core. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Golem guard. So I need eight five tellum and five viculum, which I'm going to be using this quicksand for. Two of those, and what was it? Five? Yeah, five. So I just need five of those. One, two, three, four, five. And the core. There we are. So just need to toss these two. One, two, three, four, five. And the core. And there we go. Golem animation core guard. There we go. So let's uh where's my thing? There. Bop. So let's uh what else is it I needed? Golem visor, I believe. There we go. Iron helmet. Two pieces of iron. So, iron helmet. And uh, two pieces of iron to make the golem visor. As well as, I think, the order core. Which needs just gold nuggets surrounding an order shard. There we go. And here we have our order charm. So I think that's everything. That, animation core, accessory, accessory. So I think that is everything. <coughs> now I did build a nice little building over here. Uh, simple little building for my spawner. It, uh, oop, ah! <laughs> I did not see <laughs> I need to cover that hole. Uh, but yeah, I made a nice little building right here. With a nice little platform. I'm going to have my golem right here. So he can attack and kill. And this is going to be the interior. And there is something I forgot. I was going to have some... Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm, I'm going to have some uh, channels right here. So let's put that on this golem while I am waiting. Well, I'm not really waiting for anything, but I am going to put down the golem, put down the animation core, and why is he injured? Animation core, as well I accessory visor, and the order upgrade. There we go. Now, I should be able to click on him. And now, I can have him attack animals, monsters, players, or creepers. So, that'll be nice. Uh, I can also have him attack creepers. So, what else I am going to need are slime channels. I forgot to make those. So, I'm going to need slime channels. And slime channels are a block from a Tinker's Construct, which are these items, and they work kind of like flowing water, except they uh, do not flow outside of their inherent block. So I'm going to need uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. I'm going to need uh, 16 of these. One for each of the blocks inside. Now, I could just use flowing water, but I don't want the actual water itself. I did not build it big enough in here to actually have flowing water. Because water will, if I had a block of water right here, it would continuously flow this way and down into that hole. And I don't want that to happen. If I wanted to use water, I would have had to make at least eight blocks that way, eight blocks that way. And I would have been just way too big. So, let's put down some torches real quick here and here just so I can see and I believe it's facing this way no no I have to face the direction I want it to flow into so if I do it like this as you can see here you can see the texture is flowing this way straight into the hole so anything that falls down here will get pushed along and fall down into the hole and be attacked by my little golem. And it works just like flowing water would. 
except it uh, doesn't flow outward. So I can just put it all right here, a few more right here, and anything that spawns inside of this building will automatically, anything that spawns inside the building and falls <laughs> into this will automatically get sent into that little hole and sent down. Now what I'm going to do is fill this up with the cursed earth that I got from my activation ritual. And I think cursed earth spreads to nearby grass block, uh, nearby dirt blocks. So I don't need to fill this place completely. I just need to uh, open up a few spots here. And it should spread to all the blocks. Because I don't, uh, I'm going to have to get out of here really quick. Now I could just use spawners and at some point I might actually do that because there is a way to turn on and off spawners inside of a rotary craft so I might try that out at some point but for now I'm just gonna use this cursed earth and there's actually a way to make spawners with Thalmcraft and I did unlock that I'll show you that later but uh yeah let's start not putting dropping down this uh cursed earth and it should be dark enough in here uh oh go away ah oh crap uh go away go away go away I'm trying to go away ah damn it damn it oh no oh. <laughs> I did it again I forgot to do my friggin uh Put my freaking good armor on and it got killed because of it. Damn it. <gasps> no! I need some blocks. I need uh, uh I need some blocks. Uh the dirt. Just give me some dirt. Dirt, <laughs> give me some dirt. <laughs> oh no. And I need a pick. I think I should have a uh pick. Uh <laughs> I did it again. I forgot to put my good armor on. Uh, I need to get in there. And, uh... Get my stuff out of there. Oh. Torches. Here we go. Give me some torches. Ten torches. Go. Okay. Uh, uh... I need to get down there. Okay, I need to get down there and get my stuff. <laughs> I can't believe I did this again. Okay, it was that freaking uh, thing in there, that uh, creeper that got me. Okay. Aha, I was able to get some of my stuff back. So let me put my armor on, get my sword, and uh, see if we can get our way in here. Die. Die, die, die. Okay. Is that all my stuff? Ow. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, is that everything? I think so. Uh, let me get a couple more pieces of this cursed earth down. And I'll put some more dirt down. And it looks like it is, in fact, uh, spreading because I didn't put one over there so it should be spreading hopefully uh, wait a minute let me get my good pick dig this up and uh, just to be safe I'll uh, put this one in here there there we go so I just need to shift get my uh, backpack back on there we go I got everything. Ooh, go away, go away. Go away, stupid friggin' zombie, go away. Ow, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Go away. Do I have my chest piece? There we go. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe I did that again. Okay, let me, uh, put that there. And now I can, uh, where's my shovel? <laughs> I can't believe I did this again. Oh. Uh oh. Attack the creeper, dude. 
Where are you going? Uh. Attack that guy! Go! Yes, there. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That sucks. Uh. Where. Where are you going, little guy? Where are you going? Okay, let me, uh, turn it off so he's not attacking creepers. <laughs> uh, let me eat something first, though. Uh. <laughs> there we go. It seems to be working, kind of. Uh. Well, it's kind of working. Uh. Let me turn it off so he's not attacking creepers, because apparently that, uh... <laughs> uh... Well, this isn't working as well as I was hoping it would. But... It is working! Kind of. <laughs> oh, well. Uh... It's, uh, better than nothing, I guess. I think he's kind of going after that spider. And there's some guys that are just kind of stuck up there. But yeah, uh, this should allow him to attack and kill all these guys without too much problem. Now, the only problem is that I don't have any way to collect the experience. And for that, I'm going to need some brains in a jar. So, I am going to need to build some brains in a jar. And the way you make brains in a jar is uh, through... Uh, artifice and it's an actual arcane infusion so I'm gonna need zombie brains warded jars spiders eyes as well as buckets of water and cognito examinus and census so I'm gonna get working on getting the brains getting the eyes and a water bucket and all this stuff melted down because I don't have any I don't have I don't think I have any of this stuff in any of jars or anything so I'm gonna have to melt all that down so I think I'm going to come back once I have all this done and uh, actually do the uh, arcane infusion for them. So I'll be back in the next episode with some brains in a jar. Woohoo!